further to the release of our Beyond Recruitment Economic and Labour Report in July, and as part of our Beyond Recruitment Leadership Series, we're sitting down with Shamabil Yaqub, one of New Zealand's leading economists, to talk about the new government's policies and the impact that these will have on employers, employees and employment practices as a whole. I look after the IT and transformation team here at Beyond and really interested to hear your thoughts around what's going on in the technology sector in particular, Shamabil. Um, so we'd be really interested to get a, an idea around your thoughts around the immigration skill shortage list and potentially the impact of the change in government in that particular area. Yeah, so this new government is going to bring immigration down and that will have an impact on the number of people who are coming in. I think the biggest opportunity is to make sure that the skills list that we do have is updated to reflect the kinds of skills we really need for a growing New Zealand. So if you think about the areas like ICT, there's some significant shortages and our universities are simply not turning out enough kids who are going to be able to fill those shortages. So I think we need to make sure that even if the window for the number of people who are coming in is reduced, those people are absolutely targeted towards these very highly skilled and highly relevant people. And what's your thoughts around the impact of that smaller pool of talent to the general market for technology moving forward? Look, absolutely no doubt that a tighter immigration criteria is going to have a, quite a big impact on the ICT sector. It means that you're going to have an even smaller pool of people to choose from and the cost of hiring and turnover is going to rise. So businesses have to work really, really hard to retain their staff and make them happy at their current jobs. In terms of, I suppose, um, uh, investment in small business and investment in that area when it comes to maybe companies that are more geared towards that technology sector, do you see the change in government um, encouraging uh, areas in that space or will it perhaps be a detriment to those businesses moving forward? I don't think there is a big change in terms of ICT businesses flourishing in New Zealand. The demand is still very strong. I think the big new thing is the regional development aspect where this government really wants to put a lot of money into the provinces. I think we are going to see the ICT sector, which has been relatively stunted in the provinces, really taking off over the course of the next few years. And do you feel like this um, government here has a priority on, um, I suppose, shifting um, our general economy more towards information technology and perhaps that sort of more services space from that perspective too? Well, the New Zealand economy is moving towards services and more high tech anyway. Um, I don't think we're going to see this government changing that very much. I think the biggest change that we can make is around education policy to educate our kids better, give them more opportunities. And some of the policies that we've heard about bringing down the cost of education, tertiary education, might go some way towards that. But those are slow moving and long term things. And so one of the key um, aspects for the um, technology sector is that education piece there. There is um, talk around there being more needed in that particular space there. Do you see that that investment is potentially going to be happening under this government compared to what has happened in the past? Yeah, look, we know that education is going to become a lot cheaper under this government and the main um, I guess the main thing for ICT businesses to make sure that the courses and the skills that are being taught at universities and tertiary education sectors is right and fit for them. Because one of the big complaints that I see from employers is that university graduates are not coming to them work ready. Shamabil, I'm interested to hear your thoughts around, um, I suppose, the new government policies and its potential impact on the competitiveness of uh, New Zealand technology-based businesses. Do you see um, that change happening? The the main challenge for New Zealand technology businesses is probably around skills and immigration. If we don't have access to a big pool of talented staff, it's going to be very hard for us to compete in the global market. I think that's the big change. Everything else still remains extraordinarily positive for the ICT sector. Thanks for your time, Shaman. We're really interested to hear what you had to say there and thank you for coming along.